An hour and a half from the center of Tokyo is Chichibu City, Saitama. It's a small city of only about 60,000 nestled in the mountains, known for its different faces during each season, as well as the allure of historical sites rich with tradition. Filmmaker Francois Mazuret is visiting from Belgium. He's reporting from locations around the world for broadcast and online. Today I am in Chichibu. I'm going to visit many, many things, starting with this temple. I'm so impatient to visit this incredible city of Chichibu, so I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. His first stop is a Buddhist temple. It was the setting for a hit Japanese anime in 2011. Francois is drawn in by the Japanese aesthetics at the entrance. As he enters the grounds, he finds an anime character made from wood. This is Francois's show, featuring Chichibu. He finds anime characters not only on the temple grounds, but posters in shops and even manhole covers in town, and he can't contain his surprise. Belgium is a very famous place for um, comics, and then we never imagined to have these comics in a church and people going to the church to see the comics. So here, this is what I like about Japan. We're always surprising by Japan. Francois seems to have a soft spot for the Emma prayer cards. He introduces them in his show as a Japanese traditional prayer written on wood. On est vraiment dans le culte religieux appliqué au manga, dans la reproduction du rite religieux appliqué au manga. He sees an anime fan earnestly writing her prayer and reports on how her passion for anime characters seems to be the same as for the Buddhist tradition. The many Ema hung here have traditional artwork as well as anime illustrations side by side. You know, what I like with Japan is always a mix between traditional and modernity. And here is the really the synthesis of Japan. Francois's next stop is the Venture Whiskey Chichibu Distillery in the mountains. When I think about Japan, I think more about sake, not especially about uh, whiskey, but they say that it is one of the best in the world, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be good, so I'm going now. This distillery is relatively new, operating since 2008, but its products have become world famous, winning numerous international awards. He films the fermentation and distillation tanks that lie at the heart of the facility. These fermenters are made of Japanese Mizunara wood, while the distillation pots are from Scotland. This discovery is another unique Japanese blend of diverse culture and nature for Francois. He learns how the different wooden casks in the warehouse change the flavors of the whiskey being aged within and can't wait to try them. Time for a taste! Ichiro's malt. He's delighted by the undertones of its wine cask. Next, a smoky flavor. Finally, a whiskey matured in a beer cask. This is a taste that definitely brings a smile. A wide variety of flavors and aromas. 
masterpieces made possible by the rich local waters of Chichibu, along with the unique methods of the distillery. It's very deep, many layers. I like the taste. We can feel the whiskey. And uh, the fact that it is really the local one, this is my favorite. But I also like the, the let's say, the beer one. The final stop is Hodosan Shinto Shrine, said to be nearly 2,000 years old. The surprising thing about this location is that a Shinto shrine and a Buddhist temple share the same grounds. The forest surrounding the differing places of worship is quiet and solemn. This place is really peaceful and relaxing. Spending time here, you feel like all the stress is going away. He enters the Gyokusenji Buddhist temple. Buddhist artwork that transcends time is on full display. Next, Hodosan Shinto Shrine. One simple corridor connects the shrine and temple of the different religions. This mindset of coexistence is one of Japan's charms. Francois's journey through Chichibu comes to a close with the sounds of taiko drums from the shrine as he prepares for his next adventure.